Okay, so today we'll be having a crash course on the select statement or the SQL statement, the select statement. So the syntax for the select statement is select followed by either an asterisk, that means all fields, or a list of field, field list, or it can also be expression list. Then from, then the name of the table, and optionally we can have uh, the where condition and the order by clause. So the where condition is used to filter records and order by is to, used to arrange the records that are displayed by the select statement, which is sometimes called the result set. So as an example, I have here select asterisk from TBL M. So what does this mean? This means that I am displaying all of the columns and all of the records from this table. So this is the name of the table. Select and from are my keywords. So you could, you should always see the select and the from from our select statement. On the next example, I have here select e name, comma salary, comma commission from TBL M. So e name, salary, and commission or COMM here are actually field names. So once you create a database will be specifying the field names and these are examples now of field names so from the name of the table in the next example we have select e name salary and then i have here salary asterisk 12 or salary times 12 so this one is an example of an expression so we can also display not only fields but also expression so from and then the name of the table then again i have here another example select e name comma salary from tblm then i have here my condition where id is equal to 10 so that's the condition so what does that mean i will only display the record if the id is equal to 10 so that's the condition so if the condition is satisfied then the row or the record will be displayed or that will be uh, the result set or the select statement will return that result set as uh, that row as part of the result set rather <clears throat> then i have to select e name salary from tblm so where salary is greater than 10000 and so i have here now a compound condition and commission is null now let's try uh, this in, act, in an actual database so first i will be opening my or running my mysql server so mysql I will start my MySQL database, my MySQL server. So it's now starting. Then allow me to open my MySQL command line. So CMD. So that's my DOS command line or command prompt. So I'm going to change my directory. So to my root to my xam xam folder or ncd mysql folder bin to binary folder so this is where my executables are located for my mysql database then to open my command line client mysql does u root so i'm using the root user then that's it. I have now opened my command line client. So I have connected to the database. And then to show the databases, I can type show databases. So I have several databases, but I'm going to use only this one, the demo 
db so how how i am uh, how will i use that as my default database i'm going to type use and then the name of the database so demo db so database change so i have i have now my default database and then I want to know what are the tables inside this database. So what am I going to do? I'm going to type show tables. So I have here four tables, customers, dummy, products, and users. I would like to know the structure of the customers table. So when I say structure, uh, I can see the field names, the data type, etc. So what am I going to do? I'm going to type describe customers so these are now my field names let's say I want to see the structure of the products table so I'm going to type describe products so I have here now my products table so let's review our select statement I would like to see the records of the customer table so I can type select asterisk from customers so that means all records will be displayed and all columns will be displayed. So that's it. So I have here now my records. I would like to show only the names and the birth date. So select. So I'm going to specify the fields. Cost name and birth date from the name of the table. So that will display only cost name and birth date. Let us now open the products table. So select asterisk from products. I would like to see for example, the description, the price, the quantity, and let's say the amount or extended amount, which is the product of price and quantity. So I can type, select, description, price, quantity, and price times quantity from products. So what is this? This is an example of an expression so once i enter that's it so i have your keyboard price 110 so 100 times 10 is 1000 etc so that's an example of using an expression let's say for example i would like to see only products with the price um higher than 500 select asterisk since I, didn't, I did not specify the names of the column but of course sometimes it would be better if you specify the names of the columns especially if the table has a lot of columns because that will make your query faster so from products what is the condition so uh, the price should be higher than 500 so where price is higher than so I'm going to use the greater than sign 500 so I have here now the names of the products with price higher than 500 how about if I would like to display the records of the product table uh, arranged according to price from highest to lowest so select asterisk from products so how do you arrange we have order by price but i would like to see the arrangement from highest to lowest because there will be no point in arranging it because by default it is already arranged from lowest to highest so i would like to reverse the arrangement this time around from highest to lowest so order by price and then you have to specify descending so you notice now that my records are displayed but according to price from the highest to the lowest.
So let's continue with our slide. So next we have insert, update, and delete. So how do we insert? So to insert records, we use the command insert into followed by the name of the table and then followed by the column name list, so list of the column, the column names. And then values followed by the value list. Again, the column name list should be uh, corresponding to the value list. As an example, we have insert into, so that's our keyword. Then the next one is the name of the table. So TBLM is the name of the table. And then open and close, this, could, this should contain the column name list. So I have your ID, E name, department number, salary, and commission. So assuming that these are the names of the columns. Then followed by values. So I have your values. So again, you should always follow the syntax. Then open and close. So null, this will be my ID. Daisy Pascual will be the A name. Department number, that's one. Salary, that's 25,000. And commission, that is null. So that's an example of an insert statement. So let's try it in our database. Let's say I would like to I would like to insert a new customer. So what will I do? What is my command? Insert into followed by the name of the table. So what's the name of my table? Customers. So open then the name of the fields. So I can have your ID. Although we can also just uh, remove ID because the ID here most probably is an auto increment field and the value for that is automatic. So, but for the meantime, let's include that. The next will be customer name. Let's say Lawrence, address, Kalashiao, birth date, assuming 1995, February 14. Oh no, sorry, I'm already specifying the value. So that should be ID, cost name, address, and birth date. So that's, these are the field names. Then values, then this is where we place the values. So let's say first for ID, I have for null. Then customer name, I have for now, Lawrence, address, Kalashiao, and then I have here now my uh, the birth date, so 1995, February 14. So that is an example of an insert statement. So uh, once I press enter key, it says here query OK. <laughs> so one row affected. So to check, select asterisk from customers, for example. So I have here now my new customer's record. So that is how we insert record. So let's proceed with our demo. Next is the update. So update followed by the name of the table. So that's the syntax. Update, then the name of the table, then set. So these are the keywords, update, set, and then the column name equals new value. <clears throat> that, 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 that means we can have several of this column name and new value. And then optionally, we have the where condition. Now, for update and also the delete statement, it is very important that we take note of our where condition. Because if we don't place the where condition, then all the records will be affected. So as an example here, Update TBLM set salary equals salary plus 100. That means all employees' salary will be increased by 100. So no exception, all employees. Here, 
update table m set commission equals 1000 where id is equal to 5 so only that employee with id equal to 5 will be uh, updated so the commission will be changed to 1000 so in most cases for an update statement we always specify the where condition so let's have an example of that so let's say for example I'm going to change the address of Sir Lawrence from Kalashau to California so how will I do that so update then what's next the name of the table update customers then set what am I going to set the customer name or oh no the address rather the address should be equal now to California okay so update the table name set then the column so I'm changing that address column equal to this will be the new value but again if I execute this then that means that all of the addresses here will be changed to California but I want to change only the address of Lawrence so how do I do that then I'm going to use my primary key because that's a uh, perp that's one of the purposes of the primary key it's a unique value so we can always use that to identify a particular row so in this case i can use id equal to 5 so where id is equal to 5 so that means that only this record with an id equal to 5 will be changed so i press enter key to execute the statement so let's try to check select asterisk from customers then that's it for now i've now changed the address from kalashau to california then we have the delete statement so delete from and then the name of the table and then the where condition so example delete from table m where id equals then again be careful if we don't have the where close then we might be deleting all of the records of the a particular table so delete from then the name of the table then the condition so in this case where id is equal to 10 so that particular record will be deleted so again let's demonstrate that so let's delete the record of a john for example so how do we do that delete from and then the name of the table which is actually customers so what's the condition <coughs> again we use the primary key we can use name we can use the name but sometimes customer name is not unique so you will always be safe if you want to uh if you want a specific record to be affected by using the primary key so where id is equal to then enter so select asterisk from customers so as you notice now the record of john is already deleted okay so that's all for the demo of uh, as a review or a crash course on the use of the select statement the up update statement the insert statement and the delete statement